Hi everyone, once again welcome to my channel and if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. So in this video we are solving a lit code famous problem largest plus sign. So basically in this problem we are given an input n that represents basically a n cross n grid and each cell is filled by 1. And we are also given an array of x, x y coordinate. There are multiple coordinates where we are placing the mines and the placing the mines basically nothing but we need to change the 1 to 0 and then we need to return the largest axis align plus sign of one's contained grid if there is nothing we need to return so what is axis align plus sign let's understand that is over here so if you are at some one so if we have this one let's say so this one itself a plus sign and the order so i am not going anywhere right now just for this one the order will be one so now if this uh, as a center if i treat this as a center and i am looking for order two plus sign so what is needed in all the four direction like uh, left right uh, and top bottom in all the four direction there should be one at least one one so this is happen hence this is a uh, possible so this is possible one and this is also axis align now but now for the another order so if we increase another order we should have another one in the uh, all the four direction like left we have right we have bottom we have but in top we don't have so this is not possible at this center space so this is the idea one of the idea we can solve this problem like we will iterate each cell each cell each cell i comma j in our grid and if it is one if it is one then we will look in all the four direction how many ones so we will count the one number of one in left count and as well as bottom count as well as right count and the top count once we got all the count and this is one then we will take this left and right will be together so this will be minimum of this and minimum of this in the minimum of this two so once we got then we will again take minimum of this so this will give us the order and we will count one this one in all four so how we will do is so if i choose this as a center then the count of left side this is one and one two so this is two and count on right is also two count on top is two and count on bottom is two so the overall this is the order of this is 2 so we need to return 2 as the answer so this is the idea now you can pause the video and try to code yourself uh, though i have written the code for this approach if you see over here so this is the code so in this what we are doing we are not doing nothing fancy just what i explained to you just now so that is what so here first we are initializing the grid of n cross n and filling the mine with 0 once we done then we are iterating this in two for loop uh, for each cell and if it is zero we just keep continuing because it's not possible if there is no one in the center itself then if it is one we are counting the left over here left count then we are counting route right count then we are counting the top count and also we are counting bottom count once we got all the count we are taking minimum all of the four so minimum over these four and that is our order so that is the one idea now what is the time and space complexity of this approach so space complexity as you can see we are initializing that defining this a as a input matrix so the space complexity is o of n square time complexity of this is o of n cube how so this is two nested for loop then internally we are running four sequential while loop that all may take n so this is n plus n plus 4 n so that is nothing but n so n square into n which is n cube is the time complexity of this one can we further optimize so if this kind of problem and we are evaluating on the fly we can try to calculate and compute and save in already in is some data structure and then we can reuse so let's get the fresh matrix that is initialized with the mines and grid so now what i what we need to do if we know somehow at if we are processing any cell let's say this cell and we already evaluated how many left one for this and bottom one and the right one and the top one then we don't need to recompute so first what we will do we will create four 
same size matrix like left matrix left 2d grid of n cross n we will create n cross n grid similarly right similarly top and bottom we will create four n cross n grid and we will fill the counts so based on for each cell so initially when we are at this index if it is one that means whatever value in this we will fill so for left one so let me just create one matrix for example first here so the of the same size roughly so this is five columns so let add one more column and there are five rows so this is now so initially on the left the number of count including itself is one similarly the, the first row will be like first column will be same now second there are how many count in, in the from the left it is two 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 now similarly for three 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 and this will become now we got zero so we, we cannot go further so this is zero as it is similarly here one and there two now here this will become four five four five four five four five like this so this is the left matrix similarly we will create the right matrix of the same size we will fill right from the right side so this is five row five column so we got five column now we will start from here so this is one 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 as it is then two three four five two three four five two three four five and here again two three four five then we will have uh, this two zero one two so this is similarly we will create top and bottom matrix once we got top and bottom matrix we just again iterate same for each cell i and j in our matrix n cross n and if we have one the cell value is one then we will check take the minimum over all the four like left right and top and bottom once we got the minimum that will be our order and we will take the maximum of all such cells so that is the another idea now you can try to pause video and implement the code by yourself so the for coding uh, this is i so keep the video short i have written this approach code as well so the same like we are creating the matrix filling the mine delay details mines at that index and then we are declaring left right then we are first creating left and right matrix so this is how we are creating so if we are checking if a of ij is one then take the and uh, current li of j is li of j minus 1 plus 1 otherwise initialize with zero fill with zero similarly for the right uh, from the we are doing from the right side of that row so we are first iterating row wise here and here we are iterating basically column wise so for top and bottom we are iterating column once we done we are now iterating for each cell uh, and then taking minimum over all four and the maximum with the existing already order so that will be final our order so let's try to run this code and submit this code this will definitely work as I already tested so this gone here and it got accepted now what is the time and space complexity so space complexity again same and though we are creating five matrices of size n cross n but the overall space complexity of the solution is o of n square and the time complexity as you can see over here we are running two nested for loop here also here also two nested for loop two nested for loop only multiply so overall time complexity of this solution is o of n square so this is better than our previous solution so that's it if you like the solution you can also hit the like button and you can try to solve other matrix or grid problems i have already dedicated playlist for the matrix problems in my channel you can check out i will also try to put that playlist link in the description section you can find so that's it for now